Hello YouTubers, this is SKA Guitar Freak, otherwise known as Hacker15. Today I'll be showing you how to install Rockbox onto your Sansafuse MP3 player. First off, we're going to need to download the rockbox.zip and the fusa.bin files. You can find the links in the description. Once you download rockbox.zip, just simply right click if you have WinRAR that is, and or any extraction program, and hit extract here you'll get a folder that is exactly the same as this one dot rockbox all your files will be in here this is necessary for putting rockbox onto your sense of fuse there hasn't been a lot of help out there for uh, people that want to put rockbox on their sense of fuse because it isn't released yet this version is a beta version and it's still making some repairs and l tweaking it around a little bit so don't worry if you uh, get a few errors here and there in the process of putting it on. So anyway, so since we downloaded it now, you want to make sure that your Sansa Fuse is set to MSC mode. As you can see, all you need to do is go down to System Settings. Then, after that, you're going to go down to where it says USB mode, and then you're going to switch to USB mode to MSC mode. Alrighty. Since now you've actually plugged in your Sansa because you got it fixed with the correct USB mode, you're going to get a pop-up box that says Sansa Fuse and you want to open or, you know files and stuff or preview pictures or listen to music. You're going to actually just hit open files, but I set mine so that it's actual like this. So we're going to open that up. Now all you need to do is very simple. Obviously, yours isn't going to look exactly like mine, because I have some extra stuff in here for you guys, but uh, I'll show you how to do that later. But uh, first, we're going to just drag diffusa.bin into that actual root of your MP3 player, and we're going to drag also the .rockbox right in there too. And basically, that's pretty much it for installing it and um, you can download some of the fonts that they have you can download all the fonts you can download let's see what do we have here you can download fonts you can download different languages the themes you're gonna have to you know fix up yourself you're gonna have to get the iPod video ones because obviously your Sansa almost is sort of the same size so it'll shut you know it will have the same things and uh yeah, that's basically it for installing it. Now, you've installed it. Now, how to actually use Rockbox. Now, once you install it, you're going to hit X on that, and you're actually going to disconnect your Sansa Fuse. Once you do that, you'll get an upgrading firmware, you know, little dialog box, and do not push the power off or anything. Remember, prior to installing Rockbox, make sure that you have your Sansa Fuse charged up to at least 75% of the way. You don't necessarily have to do this, but it's more, you know, it's more safe if you do it. It's safer. Alrighty. Once you get your firmware installed, you go ahead and turn it off and turn it back on. Once you get that done, you'll see this screen. Let me see if I can get it working. Alrighty. Yours isn't exactly going to look like this, but I just thought I'll show you how mine looks right now. This is exactly how my rock box looks on my Santa Fuse. Box. But uh, I want to give you the Doom Wads because once you get the actual Sense of Fuse, you'll go into plugins and see that there is nothing, no Wads except uh, for, you know, the Doom, unless you go to the website and download Free Doom, which isn't always that awesome because it really doesn't have much, just Free Doom. So I put the Wad for Doom 2 in there. And uh, I also put the 
add-ons that I have. If you're going to ask me how to put the add-ons and stuff, it's basically all you need to do is go to your Rockbox folder in your Sansa Fuse. Go to Rocks, Games, Doom. Put the Doom Wad right there. Or, yeah, put Doom Wad in there, Doom 2. And uh, I'll also give you the Pac-Man Wads. Not necessarily a Wad, it's like a ROM. And those are the necessary files. These are my paid versions of both of them, so it's completely, you know, legal and stuff. So it's my stuff that I chose to share with you guys. Okay. Um, you're actually going to put the actual Doom 2 WAD in here, which is right on the. You go to Rockbox here, and you go to Doom right there, and you're going to make a folder named Add ons and you put all these add-ons in here note that this one right over here and this one do not work all the time they frequently crash on me I don't know why the demo it's really nothing so I'm not gonna bother to put that in the description uh... yeah I got so we mentioned the doom wads and the pac-man rom so I got you both those and uh... I believe that's it Oh. My bad. If you want to install iBoy, like you've seen for other videos, actually people that have been playing Game Boy games on their Sansa Fuses or iPods or stuff, all you need to do is go to the description and download iBoy. I uploaded this version and uh, it has all these ROMs in here. So we got numerous ROMs in here and it's pretty fun to play after a while. They actually, It actually looks like a, you know, actual Game Boy. And as you can see, we are playing like uh, tennis here and other sorts of things. So, yeah, knock yourself out. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty much sums it up. And, uh, yeah, so that's how to install Santa Fuse plus different and numerous add-ons. So I hope you found this video, until, you know, good. And uh, subscribe, please. And, uh, yeah, this is uh, Hacker15 over and out. Peace.